why do I have so many twists in my hair? It feels like so much. I feel like Rick James. <laughs> not to eat while my mouth is full so one second i'm excited about this video this is the video you want to watch it is about eden body works papaya cashier line these products right here these products right here these products right here mm. Mm, 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 mm. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to Vibing with Kia TV. I'm Kia and this is your best place for natural hair, vlogs, and reviews. In today's video, I will be sharing my wash day with Eden Body Works, their papaya and cashier oil line. So you do not want to miss this video. You can just go ahead and give me a thumbs up right now. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. I would love to have you join my family. And these are the results right here. Eden Body Works, I feel like they are underrated and the underdog and i i say that because yeah people still use eden body works but you don't hear about them like as much or maybe it's just me if you hear about them all the time let me know in the comments but i think that eden body works needs to receive a little bit more credit than they did because my wash day was one of the best wash days i've had in a long time i mean my other wash days are good too but this wash day just felt warm and cozy and i feel like i didn't have to think what am i going to do next or what do i need to do my hair is soft is manageable i smell good i just really enjoyed these products and if you're interested in seeing this wash day and how i achieved this style stay tuned amazing i've been shooting content most of the day like some real chill stuff if you don't follow me already it's curls with kia on instagram tiktok and pinterest so this is how i've been rocking my hair since yesterday um i applied the curl jam from eden body works and i like it i love the way it smells i like the way it applied to my hair and I could have definitely twisted my hair up 
and kept it moving and been done with my wash day but again this is a new method that I'm trying so what I'm going to do is I am going to use my trusty Revere and this is my baby y'all we've been going so strong we're in a whole relationship at this point if you don't have one pick it up the code is curls with Kia we're going to revere my hair and then I am going to look at me just getting cozy with my baby we are going to do some boho twists it is the end of the summer here when I'm filming this and the boho twists have been all the craze this summer well actually it's been boho braids but the braids just look like a lot let's just say that hey guys so after finishing the back i went ahead and used the revere on the front of my head and i used speed seven using the cold blast and then the level one for the heat right here i am gently getting out any last tangles and then you will just see me having some fun with my hair like my hair is out so why not right now i am using the papaya cashew scalp massaging serum to do my scalp massages and make sure you stay until the end so you can hear my thoughts on the serum then i'm parting my hair and using the papaya cashew foam conditioner to twist my hair and I'll be leaving out two pieces for the boho twist look, which I will explain in more detail in a second. was a little rough but we're gonna get some clips and clip the extra hair that's out I'm using a mousse I think for blown out hair a mousse is a great option and you can use a gel what whatever you use just use it I have these I picked these up from my local um, beauty supply store so I am using these for the bottoms and then I'm going to use these little tiny ones for the pieces hanging out. I don't see the need to do this throughout your entire head. I don't feel like it's that serious. I feel like <laughs> if you have some that are coming out, you can still get that effect. So I am going to use the little ones and curl these and then you know the back is the back i have so much hair i'm not doing this around my whole head <laughs> i'm just not so we are about to use our eden body works mousse like having the perm rods just make me know in my head that all right i'm gonna get a curl so if you do have really thick hair and you're concerned about that um definitely consider just getting some perm rods it's good to have anyway and i'll link some below in my amazon store where you can get them from have some clips on hand unless you want to put your hair in your mouth i put my hair in my mouth the first one and then i was like okay no so <laughs> to my natural hair people who have been doing that shout out to y'all but your girl over here is gonna use a clip <laughs> and i have been using like having two hair out but one of the biggest tips that i found out as i was doing my hair was that so you want to take a little bit of hair out of each twist right but you're going to take it from one side as you're continuing to twist 
take the hair out of the other side. So then it'll have your twist kind of like evened out. Y'all, why do I have so many twists in my hair? It feels like so much. I feel like Rick James. <laughs> But this is what we have and it took a while. I'm not even gonna lie, it took a while. But I'm just praying that these little blue things turn out the way I have it envisioned in my mind. I'm about to go eat. And then um, I could sit under a hooded dryer just for a little bit to let the mousse like just sink in my hair and set. But I don't know if I'm gonna do that. And your sandwiches come with a bunch of Jamal. Yeah, they do. Lettuce, tomato, peppers, and all that good stuff. So therefore, it's like a big jag and a crouton on the top of your salad. No, first, let me show you how to preserve them or how I've been preserving them. I've been putting a coil on and then I've been taking one side and just putting it back and then taking the other side and just putting my hair up. So I've been doing that. So this is how it looks in the back. Trying to hide my B to B's. And then this is my silk lined bonnet from You Go Natural. The code will be down below or on the screen. And then I put my bonnet on. And this is how I've been sleeping. And this is how I've been preserving the style you definitely want to sleep with a bonnet on because those little coils will get super frizzy and then you're gonna be like I don't know what do I need to do you can put a scarf on but I felt like the scarf would really press down the hair where the bonnet is keeping the hair protected but not um pressing down so now again doing everything for content i'm about to take these out but i do have these hair accessories that i just purchased from my local beauty supply store and i'm going to put some in my hair so i will show you how i do that and these are all different types of um little accessories they're super cute so i have like this one i don't know if y'all can see and then just the regular gold ones. So I'm not trying to do too much, but I do want it to show up. Okay, I have it in a place where it looks okay. Now for these, I recommend not putting them like dead smack on the hair. I feel like sometimes that's a bit too much, but just somewhere where it's kind of like a peekaboo effect. It's like, okay, she got something going on in there. Now it is time to take these coils out and I don't know what took me so long to do this look I like it now see how the coils are tight I don't know if you can see but that's what I love about the perm rods because the coils will fall and you don't have to keep like manipulating that hair so here's a coil that kind of frizzed out some so you can kind of see the difference of what it starts looking like. So I think it's pretty cool that I have a combination of a frizzy coil and just like a defined coil. But y'all, this is a look. I really like it. Let me know below in the comments if you have already tried this look or you're feeling it. The girl said we are saving money in this painting okay and we are going to just do our own goddess braids our own goddess twists so, this is what it's given all right did you guys love that wash day i loved it and these are the final results I am in love. Like, I will definitely be reaching for these products again. I'm just going to go through each product I use and share it with you. Um, the So, the scalp cleanser, I felt, was okay. Out of all of the products that I used in this wash day, the scalp cleanser, it needed a little bit more lather. But, to be honest, a lather, lather excuse me, does not necessarily equate to effectiveness 
so um this is hydrating i will say this but this will not be the first thing that i reach for on the flip side the serum was cool um it did leave a little bit of like a white residue so if you do use the serum do not use too much the nourishing curl jam i actually use this as a leave-in but if you want to purchase something from eden body works i would purchase this because even though it says curl jam i feel like it's a multi-use product so for them they say smooth slick styling light hole i believe it's that and it's conditioning moisturizing it's all of the things that they're saying that it is so um i would recommend that you pick this up i do like this i will use this again to be honest i'll probably use it to retwist my hair because if i'm not on camera you already know me it's the two strand twist for me but the start of the show in my opinion was the foam conditioner and the foam conditioner beyond smelling amazing it did what it needed to do it's i don't want to say that it's like this big crazy wow foam mousse but it's a great option it's affordable than most mousses and it smells good and it works so i mean what else do you really need from your mousse so I will be using this mousse again. I've really been feeling mousses lately. And you saw what I did. Pretty much what I did was I used the curl jam as my leave-in. And then I dry, I let my hair dry a little bit. And then I went ahead and twisted it with the mousse. I really like how I did that. <laughs> so there is one more thing that they gave me, y'all. The split in repair mask. The split and repair mask. I need y'all to see this. Please zoom in. This mask, oh my goodness, blew my mind. And when they were sending over the papaya and cashew oil, I was like, okay, cool. This is a cool line. But I really feel like the team at Eden Body, Eden Body Works knew me because they sent this in the package. And this is my baby. So if you see this, Especially if you ever see this on sale, grab this up. You need this. You need this. I needed this. I didn't even really know I needed this until I got it. But it smells good. The slip is there. My hair felt moisturized. It was easy to detangle. I mean, what? This Eden Body Works, my baby. I started using Eden Body Works in the beginning beginning of my natural hair journey which was almost 10 years ago and they were that girl back then they're still that girl i really hope that they keep working with me <laughs> because i love their products and i feel good and you're supposed to feel good at the end of your wash day and throughout your wash day and i really highly recommend the split and repair mask this is a part of their almond and marshmallow line and this mousse these are my two faves and if you have a little bit more coins just go ahead and pick up this curl jam the other two they do the job but i don't feel like you know i'm i'm going to Go out here and break my leg to grab one. <laughs> no, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, subscribe if you're not already part of the family. I would love to have you here. Give me a thumbs up. Drop a comment below. And don't forget to turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. But until the next one. Wait a minute. Go ahead and click on this video right here. This is the video that YouTube thinks that you should be watching. And the one below is the one that I think you should be watching. So go ahead, click on one of those, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.